Happy Day official. I am Tiffany, and today we're going to be reviewing skincare products. Reason being, we need to fix this. Do you see this? <laughs> Do you see this? We need to fix this together, okay? So I got a lot of new skincare products. It's time to start getting intentional about my skincare. I wash my face every day, but apparently God's like, stop with the cake, Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> So there's that. So I'm gonna start getting intentional with my skincare routine and maybe, just maybe, they will disappear and I don't have to stop eating cake. So what I'm gonna start doing is reviewing skincare products along with making my own natural skincare products at home. So here's a sneak peek of some of the products that we're gonna be reviewing. We have Clean and Clear Morning Burst with Vitamin C, Noxzema Classic Cream. We have the Black Peel-On Mask. We have the Animal Blackberry Mask. I've never used this before. And we have the Animal Mask Hydrochloric Acid. So let's get started. So the product we're gonna review today is the Black Peel Off Mask. The ingredients in it is oat extract, rosemary extract, vitamin B5, caladula extract, citric peel extract, grapefruit, vitamin A and E, bamboo charcoal, aloe vera extract, and phenol. So it says that this product cleans out environmental toxins and dirt and debris from underneath your skin. Um, it has natural extracts in it that calms and helps the skin to regain its natural moisture balance so it becomes soft. I need that in my life. And it absorbs 100 to 200 times its weight. All right guys, so before we get started, the directions say that you need to put a warm washcloth over your face for a few minutes and then dry it off to open up your pores. So I'll be right back. So it is a squeeze bottle. To squeeze it out, you can use like a little paintbrush, but I like to get messy. So I'm gonna squeeze it out and use my fingers. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna speed this process up for you guys and I just wanted to let you know a few things about this product. So it's very thick and the smell isn't too bad, but you wanna make sure that you avoid putting it anywhere near your eyes. Like I had it pretty low and I kinda felt like it was still irritating my eyes a little bit. You also wanna make sure that you avoid putting any of this on your eyebrows. I'm just touching up a few areas, making sure that each section has a generous amount. done and so what you want to do is you want to wait 30 minutes and it says that you can use this about one to two times a week all right so it's been 30 minutes and this is what it looks like <laughs> face is really stiff so let's take it off you want to make sure that you take it off very slowly All right guys, so what I will tell you is that I did this mask a few days ago and it did show black and white heads on there. Like the whole white head was just sitting on there. So I don't know if it's because I did it recently or today was the first time I actually read the directions. I didn't know you're supposed to put a wash rag on your face. So that was also different. I don't know if you just did it with a dry face. Maybe my face wasn't dry enough, but yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> Maybe because I used it recently, I don't see as many whiteheads coming out, but 
my face is a lot smoother. All right guys, and that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And make sure you check back to see all the other skincare products that I review on this channel, along with making your own, so that should be fun. And if you made it to the end, I really appreciate you guys and thank you so much for watching. See you soon. <laughs>